morning guys it's uh 6 49 in the morning which means i've had roughly two hours of sleep because i drove out here from winchester which is a 40 minute drive and i went to bed at 3 30 this morning so yeah today ought to be interesting Um, doing a drive down to North Carolina, and the reason why you're way up there is because if I lower you a little bit, you get sun fade, so, yeah! And this will be fun to edit, because I'm using both phones and a camera, so, stuff is going to be bouncing around. And, uh, yeah, so, I showed up early because I hate traffic. I'm also good slash bad with time, because half the time... I'll be early because if I'm not early, I'm very late. So I would much rather be very early. And that's where we are this morning. So I'm going to have some uh, food this morning because my stomach is very upset. My legs hurt really bad. And I have to drive from Leesburg, Virginia to Raleigh, North Carolina. So mm -hmm. 300 miles each way, but at least both vehicles are automatics and um, one is a... Chevrolet Traverse, the other one is a Chevrolet Silverado, so at least I'll have room in both of them to stretch my legs. That plus I'm parked so close to my buddy's GTO that we're touching because I'm going to see if he notices and texts me while I'm on the drive. So here we are an hour in. I've traveled 50 miles and I'm already running out of energy. I still have another nine hours of driving to go. This is going to be a bad day. Or maybe it's a good day with bad results. I guess we'll find out. So we've reached the two hour mark and I have to stop. I have to take a few minutes. Um, yeah, my energy is just <laughs> right now. I hurt my neck. Seriously, you probably saw it right there. It was like, right there, right there it hurt. So I'm going to take like 5-10 minutes and just sit here because uh, obviously I don't want to go to sleep because if I fall asleep I'm going to hurl. I'm very nauseous right now. One of the biggest mistakes I make when I'm on the road is I don't eat. So I stop at a gas station. I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to eat some uh, shrimp poppers. That way at least I'll have something to do while I'm driving along. Because when I go on these long trips I tend to just do the whole drive. I might get like an energy drink or something. And that's what bites me in the ass every single late time at least. One thing I'm always surprised with is actually the quality of the uh, mom and pop style food deli counters in these uh, gas stations. Because this is a big, big cup of shrimp and it was $4. And that's way cheaper than it would have been at like... Um, Jack in the Box or um, any place like that. All of a sudden I can't think of the name. It's that chicken place, whatever. But it's cheaper than, than going and getting shrimp poppers. So, And these are actually like full on real shrimp too. They're, they're not like crumbled shrimp bits. So good food. No um, dipping sauce, because if I spilled anything in here, I'd get yelled at. So I had a little bit of food. I went ahead and did some filming in the Traverse that I'm in, just a quick one. I've done reviews on this type of vehicle before, so this was more of a follow-up kind of a thing. And now I'm on the road again. One benefit to getting that shrimp cup is that I, uh, I have some place to spit some sunflower seeds. I figured I'd get a snack that I could snack on that would be snack horrific, as well as keep me a little bit more occupied, but obviously I don't want to be spitting sunflower seeds out in a brand new car, so had to have a cup. Still about 130 miles away from my destination. Means I'll get there about one o'clock, turn around, come back, probably be back around eight. So long day still. Still have about nine hours. So it's been like 35 minutes since I got that food. Still can't remember what the name of the uh, dipping stuff is for it. I know it has horseradish and ketchup in it. And I know that for some reason my head keeps on saying can knee sauce. What happens when brain fog is there? It's right on the edge of my head. Feeling a little bit better since I ate a little bit clearer, but. Fact that I don't know what it is. I know it's red and I know you dip your shrimp in it. So as you can see by the smaller amount of cabin space, I am now in the second vehicle of the day. 
I'm calling this one the First Order Silverado. And you'll be seeing a video on it, and you'll understand why when you see that video. So make sure you watch that video when it comes out. But uh, yeah, it's 146. I got there at about 120-ish. And uh, they kind of gave me the uh, walk around, you know, trying to find the truck, find the guy that was doing the, uh, the trade. Finally got it sorted out, and now I'm back on the road. I feel like poop, which means I will probably be taking a couple of breaks on the way back. MapQuest, why do I call it MapQuest? Google Maps says it's going to be roughly five hours back, but it, that means I'm gonna be hitting Washington area on 95 at rush hour. So yeah, it's gonna be more like six and a half hours back. But I'll get there. I'll uh, update you when I stop. I have to get something in my mouth really quick because I just took some Excedrin and boy, do they taste chalky. Also, I'm in a brand new vehicle with like 17 miles on it that probably hasn't been run very long. And uh, as weird as this is to hear, new car smell makes me nauseous. And when I'm not feeling good, nausea gets multiplied. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys down and uh, eat some sunflower seeds and drink some Coke Zero and uh, try to feel a little bit better. It's funny, I just stopped for some more real food and I was thinking to myself that I'd been in this area before to pick up a Fusion Hybrid in 2012 back in the day. And uh, I literally stopped right next to the Ford dealership where that was, so that was kind of cool. Some really nice ladies inside. I got, uh, you know, chicken and wedges. Or that good, good, good cooking with grease, because that's healthy. I was looking at you and I missed my rest area. You should feel ashamed of yourself because I'm kind of fake here. I had some food. I did stop for like 10 minutes to shoot some exterior footage of the truck that I'm in. And then uh, I got back on the road but uh, I don't think I ate soon enough, and I don't think I took aspirin quickly enough, and uh, stuff is starting to hurt really bad. However, on a plus note, this truck has heated and cooled seats, so I'm alternating between hot and cold right now to help the muscles in my back. I really wish it had the Mercedes air scarf, though. If you've ever seen an SLK or an SL, they have uh, vents on the headrests that blow hot or cold air on you, depending on which way you have them set. I really could use those. But uh, I'll be all right, I'll just hit the next rest stop in like 50 miles and then stop for a little bit. Cause yeah, my neck is getting, cause yeah, my neck is getting like really tight right now and it's really annoying. So, damn it. I had to pull off the road, it's about five o'clock. I'm about two hours away from the dealership right now, but I had to stop because, uh, don't know if you can see, but do uh, you see how the right eye won't focus right now? It's moving a lot more than the left one. The left one's looking at a fixed spot. Uh, yeah, unless I drive with my right eye closed, it's starting to uh, completely go bonkers and it goes black. So uh, that probably ain't good. So I'm gonna take 10 minutes or 15 minutes and just sit here and uh, hopefully feel better enough to uh, continue moving. All done. As you can see, I'm back in Thumper. I even vacuumed out Thumper. Right, damn. Anyway, as I was saying, I actually cleaned Thumper the other day. And I'm on my way home, but that does present a little bit more of an issue. Uh, my hands really hurt and I can't feel my leg right now. So that's good. Uh, from gripping the steering wheel, my hand like really starts to ache and the bones hurt and touching things hurts. So there's always that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm super tired, so I'll probably go home and just uh, lay down and go to sleep and see if I sleep all the way till tomorrow. Why do I say it like a Midwesterner? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Almost Canadian. I'm South Canadian. So now I'm at that point where I'm faced with a dilemma. I'd like to stop and get something to eat so I don't have to try to stay up long enough to cook it. But I can't get out of the car because the pain is really bad right now. And if I get out of the car, I just feel that it's going to hurt too much. And then I won't even want to eat. But ordering out never works because number one, it's too damn expensive and I don't have the money for it. And number two is it's not good for you. At least not in any of the stuff I like to eat. So, I guess uh, it's uh, just some rice and beans for me. So it is now, actually I can't read them. 
9.40 at night. I've been home for a little bit over an hour and I've actually been just um, playing something real quick. Let me show you what it is. It's just uh, Tri-Peak Solitaire in Windows because, you know, that's why you build custom water-cooled computers is to play Tri-Peak Solitaire. I actually had to look at the name, but uh, that's not actually why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it helps me measure how bad my brain is doing at any given moment. Because this stupid game, as stupid as it is, requires some thinking based on the cards here, the cards there, what you're seeing, and what you can do to clear out the tri-peaks. Well, when I'm clear, I can usually have runs in the, you know, 150 to 300,000 point range. That's the highest score I've had since I've started playing in the last hour, and I'm falling asleep while I'm sitting here trying to play it. What that means is that my brain is very fatigued right now and is not finding patterns and recognizing them. Can't even worry, but yeah. So it's kind of pissing me off because I'm losing game after game after game. You can see I have no deals left and only 75,000 points. And you think this would be easy. So you go six, five, four, five, six, blah, 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 over and over. But my brain is missing the connection between patterns up here and that stupid card. So it's one way to measure how your brain is working them day to day and mine ain't working too good. And I know it seems like it's kind of a stupid test. It's little things like that that I need to continue to do to make sure that uh, I'm getting enough rest because during the drive all day today I've been trying to think of words and items and by the way it's cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce for the shrimps. I was losing thoughts continuously and unable to hold on to them, especially as I was getting, I was about to say, tired or it's just, yeah. So, again, it's a little bit after 9 40 now, and I'm gonna go to bed and uh, see how I feel. My leg is killing me. Um, smelling necrotic tissue, which means that I uh, probably wore that boot too long today and something died. Uh, some tissue died, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow for it to dry out a bit and uh, I'll debride it. Um, basically, scrape around the edges, get rid of the dead tissue so that it can start forming new tissue. And then I'll spend all day tomorrow in bed, except for I can't, because I have to take care of stuff. Anywho, that, uh, that's, that's a day for me when I try to do something. Talk to you later.